have a mission to make Britain a country that works, not for the privileged and not for the few, but for every one of our citizens. And together, we, the Conservative Party, can build a better Britain. Well, speaking of the NHS and tax, there's another story in the Times today, which I'm going to bring up next time, about how the NHS avoids paying tax. So, you know, it's just a mess. And uh, they're spending millions a year on tax avoidance consultants. And uh, we've got... But, it's a, but the NHS is uh, a state mm -hmm. um, an enterprise organisation. So... You, you pay, the, the, we pay our taxes, they go to the Treasury, the Treasury decides how much they're going to give the NHS and then the NHS has to pay tax back to the Treasury. Um, mm. It's just ridiculously messy, isn't it? Well, it just, it just seems like a financial black hole, you know, you just chuck more and more money in it mm. and well, it always needs more money. There will, you know, will never be enough, that's just the nature. But the alternative is to go to like a European-style insurance Social insurance policy, which, wait, wait, which we don't want. I understand why they're tempted to go down this route, but they're wrong. Uh, they should not be engaging in aggressive tax avoidance. And I have to say, actually, the people who benefit from this are the uh, accountants who have set up this system. And uh, they're taking money out of the NHS, out of direct services, doctors, nurses, and direct services to patient care, and pocketing. And that is taxpayers' money. It's your money and my money that is lining the pockets of the accountants who are engaging in tax avoidance. This, uh, that is just unacceptable. They're looking at creative ways of not cutting frontline services and thinking about how they save money. And what we have here is some complex, opaque tax models that have been developed by large accountancy firms, which they've taken to the NHS and said to them, here's a way in which you can save all of your VAT payments on temporary staff. That's a very large number, and in reality, we can't see any other benefits to the NHS other than avoiding tax. Unfortunately, these schemes have now evolved to pass the employer's taxes on additionally to the worker unlawfully. Now we are seeing workers being charged their own employer's NICs and unfortunately, even the apprenticeship levy, which is a tax on big businesses with turnovers over three million. Worst of all, most affected are from BME groups, giving this uncomfortable echoes of Windrush. They've consistently had very poor treatment of migrant workers. Um, indeed, we see in the NHS, even on the temporary worker side, a uh, sort of two-tier workforce emerging, whereby temporary workers are being taxed both as an employer and employee, unlawfully, I might add, um, when they sort of denied onto the NHS payroll because the NHS doesn't want to foot its employers' NICs. Uh, th there are a lot of such issues going on in the background here, and the one common thread is uh, this government really needs to improve its treatment of the migrant workforce. Guidance says public bodies aren't meant to use tax avoidance schemes. Outrageous. We showed it to the senior MP who spent months highlighting loopholes. Completely and totally unacceptable for a publicly funded body to deliberately set about avoiding a fair tax due is simply wrong and I bet you on this that the four that the 20% they save on VAT doesn't go back into the NHS I bet a great dollop of it goes into the pockets of the accountants traditionally a hospital would pay an agency for a locum doctor on a thousand pounds for example they'd be charged 200 pounds VAT on top under these new models the trust takes on the locum as if they were a permanent member of staff or have their own company even if only for a couple of shifts, and they're not charged VAT. 
With trusts under massive pressure to save cash, the temptation to take up a scheme is clear. But industry sources have wider fears, telling us suppliers are getting bullied into doing this. Firms selling the service are like second-hand car salesmen. Contracts start and stop so often that a lot of doctors have 200 P45s. And one agency fears it could be dangerous because trusts might be sent cheap alternative doctors. We have a mission to make Britain a country that works, not for the privileged and not for the few, but for every one of our citizens. And together, we, the Conservative Party, can build a better Britain. Britain, 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 Britain. We have a mission to make Britain a country that works, not for the privileged and not for the few, but for every one of our citizens. And together, we, the Conservative Party, can build a better Britain. Britain, 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 Britain. We have a mission to make Britain a country that works, not for the privileged and not for the few, but for every one of our citizens. At IHPA, we have a very simple solution to this problem, and it's three steps. One, ban NHS Trust from doing this, absolutely and in categorical terms. Enforce it strictly. Two, increase the budget of the NHS to cover the amount of VAT which has been avoided, and by the way, this amount is considerable, include the commission element. And three, as a result of the above two steps, the NHS will enjoy a massive budget increase at absolutely no cost to the current Treasury bottom line. All the money that would have been going commission will go to frontline services, where it should be.